Hey guys, Steel Michael here, and welcome back to another video. And it is Halloween, guys, finally. It has been a while. We've been setting up for quite a while. And Halloween is finally here. And it's been quite a while. I apologize for not doing any haunted thons for you guys. It's just been very busy and hectic. Um, we didn't really plan very well uh, this year. And we kind of ended up having to do some of the stuff last minute. And um, this isn't the walkthrough necessarily um, yet. But I just need to talk to you guys about a few things. Um, so unfortunately, this year... We did not, we were not able to get a ton of things. We weren't able to get, a, a, like, you know, everything out. Namely, Fungus Face and Ice Cream Man did make it out, but he, um, unfortunately was not, um, his hand, one of his hands wasn't completely stuffed. It looked okay, but, um, he is, you know, he, he didn't really um that one hand just wasn't stuff sorry guys this one tree keeps shaking it's creeping me out um so yeah unfortunately that him and roswell did not make it this year next year for sure because we're gonna be working on him for once we're gonna actually be like you know working on him as you guys can see william compton has been completely reinforced he's got pretty much a body now he doesn't have feet but he doesn't need them He's got a whole body. I think he looks a lot cooler. Um, you might be wondering where some of the lights are. Unfortunately, this year we did not do lights as much or as intensely. And also, the, the pumpkin should have been on. But uh, as I was saying, guys, unfortunately, we weren't able to get some of the lights out. Next year is going to be a lot better. But um, this year has also been pretty good, in my opinion, for our haunt. And we do have some exciting stuff. We had, you know, we didn't get to do everything as planned, but that's okay. We still got tons of cool stuff out here. And like I said, well, we just learned from it because now we know we need to plan much farther ahead. We had to improvise on a few things, but in the end, it did come out quite satisfying. And as you guys can see, the light is on. I forgot, I just realized that I forgot to flip a switch that turned some of the lights on. And this pumpkin was working, but for some reason we had our animated characters we made and they were plugged into the, to, to an outlet that I used an extension cord. I honestly think that they blew a fuse, guys. Um, Like, not even joking. I, I'm pretty sure that they blew a fuse, um, or not they, Um, the outlet blew a fuse and I don't think I think it's going to be out of commission. I don't think it has anything to do with something not being plugged in. I'm almost positive because the pumpkin light isn't on. The uh, um, Eddie isn't on. Witch Doctor isn't on. And I know I haven't been able to show you guys a ton. You know, like, um, you guys haven't seen, like, you know, all the build videos. And I apologize for that. Like I said, guys, it's been very hectic and I apologize. And honestly, this year hasn't been awesome when it comes to me being able to get videos out, but I, I apologize and I'll do my best. Um, but I hope you guys still enjoy and I hope you guys will still stick with me. Um, uh, we have Triskel. Fortunately, he managed to get up and he is super tall because this is supposed to not be visible, the pole. And in the darkness, it's really not. And it looks, you know, like a three-headed skeleton with, like, this thing which I painted, like I talked about, a, um, trident, and it's, like, cold out, so it's, like, but, so, you can actually bump him, and the lights turn on, and I think he came out pretty cool. My mom has been helping me a ton, and she's had a ton of patience with me, and my, uh, you know, like, being particular with some of the characters, so special thanks to her for that, and to my dad, and my brother, who, you know, made this all possible. So, yeah, special thanks to them. Um, unfortunately, Steelhorn only got one of his characters out this year. Wait, no, two, because of Farmer Marlin. I apologize for that, because we've been so busy with the other characters, so he didn't really get a chance to get a ton of his characters out, unfortunately. But he did get one new character, and, and he's he had one that was supposed to be here, but didn't quite make it, unfortunately, for you guys. Now, here... 
is Eddie. We've been working on him for a while now. As you can see, he looks awesome. This is Eddie. I really apologize, guys, for not being able to show you guys. He was working for a while, and then the fuse, or whatever happened to the outlet, happened. And now he isn't moving. He looked awesome. I will be sure to get you guys a demo on him at some point. His shoes aren't actually on. I might actually, when I show you guys a demo of it, I might actually manage to get the shoes in um, for you guys. Not 100% sure. So I apologize, guys, but um, my two animated characters that we made aren't working. Um, they, Like I said, they I think they blew a fuse. We have this custom, like, voodoo head that I made. It was just a skull, and then I took an eye and some paint and hot glue. And the hair is in the way. But this is a custom voodoo head I made. I think it looks pretty creepy. So it was originally just a black skull, witch doctor. She rotated back and forth. Unfortunately, she stopped working as well because, like I said, I think the, flu the fuse blew out. Um, something I want to tell you guys about Charming Jenny. Um, mine originally didn't come with the motion sensor, unfortunately. So I got a new one. Um, so my mom contacted customer service. And um, customer service, or the number that it was told that they told you to call in the manual if something wasn't right the people weren't honestly all that nice but then mom called party city and the people were so nice um the lady that responded to her was super nice and really you know kind and this was yesterday and she managed to one day ship the replacement one that now has a motion sensor and it was just awesome. It was really nice of the customer service lady to do that to make sure it gets here on time because she knew we have to ship the other one back, which is messed up. She doesn't even, like, swing her rope anymore for some weird reason. But, um, one second, guys. But, yeah, guys, it's awesome that she, that that customer service lady managed to get me my replacement thing in time. So, you know, special thanks to Party City for that and its staff. This is the ice cream cart. You can see the ice cream cart. And this is Ice Cream Man. My mom was working on him really hard um, tonight. You can see the bloody apron and boots. But as you can see, he's kind of got a weird stance. But I still think he looks awesome and creepy. We added tons of detail to it in general. Guys, I'm pretty sure that the, that tree, the sounds that are coming from that tree is actually squirrels. Um, f uh, believe it or not. But um, anyway, guys, this is Ice Cream Man. I think he came out really cool. Um, his cart and everything, he's awesome. Um, his only improvement is he needs to have an ice cream hat next year, and his hand needs to be stuffed a little better, but that's about it. Um, also, the story behind Jumping Jenny and Ice Cream Man in relation is Jumping Jenny, I'm gonna say, is actually was actually Ice Cream Man's first victim. Um, she was the first, you know, child to be killed by Ice Cream Man, so that's why she's, like, you know, with him. Um, she's supposed to be, like, tormenting him and stuff, but, you know, he's just crazy and stuff, so he doesn't exactly care sometimes okay this is the one that i think is super cool i mean they're all super cool but we have chuckles i got it right this time guys chuckles um the clown uh i'm not sure if i showed you guys this on the I showed you an updated version of this but he's got a strobe light going i'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see it better as you can see, it looks like super creepy, and then there's a reflection on the mausoleum, but it's hard to tell because I have the flashlight on. Otherwise, you guys would be able to see pretty much nothing. Um, but I think he looks awesome because he's got a strobe light looking, and it's like really creepy because there's like human like guy, and it's one that's like coming out, and it looks like he's like, you know, behind the fence, you know, trying to get over, or like, you know, just like, you know, just trying to like stalk people. I think he came out really cool, and keep in mind, just about all of these were my mom helped me on um, quite a bit with these characters moving on and um this is keep in mind this is not the um this is not either w version of the walkthrough yet this is just me kind of talking about some special things that happened that i may not have covered in my haunt videos just to make up for it because i feel really bad um for not um uploading enough info about the things you know to keep you guys updated so i apologize but anyway we got the mausoleum up um, you know, a little more coverage about this when I talk about it in my walkthrough. 
Um, it's hard to tell because of the lighting. I'm going to have to turn that off when I do the walkthrough for it. But, um, yeah. So we got my animated Jack O'Lantern guy. He, he, his motion, his, um, sound detector doesn't work awesomely. Um, but, yeah. There's Farmer Marlin. There's this cat. I don't think she's on right now. Oh! Oops. Okay, so the good news is this cat is actually pretty durable. I just hope she doesn't have that many scratches on her. Um, but she keeps falling over. I need to add some padding on it just, you know, for so she doesn't break anymore. But as soon as she fell over, she didn't make it, she didn't make any more noise. And then I screamed and then she makes noise. But yeah, this is Amarin Cat. We had it since last year at the end of the season. Um, but I didn't make it much of a video about it because, you know, it's like, you know, it just it's a cat. But it's it's neat it's a neat prop to have and I think we might have visitors, so Anyway guys, I apologize. My brother just got back from trick or treating, so that's what, what the uh hold up was about. But anyway guys, as you can see I got my freak show alive sign up right there. Unfortunately there was not enough room to put Um I was able to get two of the three signs up, but the third one there I unfortunately did not could not find a space to put it effectively. I wanted to get my float um techie toys floating ghost up. But unfortunately, that was not to be because we didn't have enough time to set up, you know. So, yeah, we got my um, skeleton head thingy. He surprisingly doesn't go off as easily as he did in the house. But, and he's a little quiet, too. Quieter than before. Which is odd. I think it might be, you know, just the fact that it's Halloween. It makes things work less effectively. But, um... We got some, you know, brush that my mom found, and, you know, a cut like a skeleton spider and that black spider, um, and for some reason this happened, I don't know why, but, um, we got our giant gravestone from last year that my dad made, we put that there, we have my brother's towering nightmare in the bush, and I think it looks pretty cool, it's kind of creepy, because it's kind of, you know, looming there, and it's kind of creepy, we have this, which was a favorite of the first group of people that came by. And by the way, there were technically only five people that got candy from us. But we say that eight people came over because of their parents. Um, but this was like a favorite of the first group that came over. They just kept triggering this thing because they, I don't know why, they just enjoyed it so much. They kept triggering it. And he still works and I thought it was kind of, it would have been cool if more people would have came by. Because I feel like it would have gotten a few people, you know, they'd be walking by and then he would have went off. But unfortunately, we didn't. We only had like five actual people come up. So yeah, this guy kept going off, even though he was like pretty much out of battery. This is our the second creep show alive or um freak show alive sign that he got up. The one for Sp Spidora. Um, this is just the second one I got up. Um, we have. The ghost that we improved, you know, reskinned a few t a little bit to make it look better because the tapestry was worn off. Um, we have the skull and crossbones, which is neat. I got it from gra my grandma this year. What I did, I'm sorry, my upload schedule got so messed up and I apologize, but, um, yeah. Then we also, we got the doorbell, you know, the basic doorbell that stabs your finger and makes you hurt and cry. We have this, the, the skeleton that I wanted a corpse. That I never got a chance to. We put him on the light, which is okay. He was supposed to light up completely, but he never got a chance. Um, then we have a disposed corpse over here. You know, we improved him, like I said, with the Velcro. And then, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We had to wheel. I wheeled the whole garbage can over here, and then just then a welcome sign. So that's about it. Oh, and apparently this hand, too, that my mom put here on the ground for some reason. I think it moves. I think. Not sure. No, it's broken. And now the pumpkin's light is working again, go figure. But then now the green light is off. Which I think it might have been because we switched the um, outlets for certain things. So this thing was probably unplugged and this thing was probably plugged back in.